Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. What are we making today? Well, we're going to be making tortas, which are just a type of sandwich. So this time around, I'm going to be using this carne seasoning and they do sell it on Amazon. So I will put it in the description below for you. So now all I'm doing is just sprinkling both sides with the seasoning. You do want to be careful with the seasoning. Um, it can be a little salty. So if you don't really want it that salty, then just use a little less. You can definitely barbecue your meat if you'd like. I'm just going to use this skillet. I actually don't know what it's technically called, but it it's great. I, you can even cook pancakes on it. So I use it for almost anything for breakfast and dinner. This is a slightly thicker cut of meat, so it will take a little bit longer to cook. But I was just using what I had in the fridge, to be honest, and the thinner meat was left over. And that's just kind of what we do around here. And we're gonna make the stretch, right? Okay, so I looked it up online and this pan is actually called a griddle pan. For anybody that wants one, I'm gonna look it up and I'll link it down below for you on Amazon. Now moving on to the beans. I'm not gonna make any homemade beans here. You can definitely do that, and I have done that before, and I plan on doing them again sometime, but I'm just making a quick dinner here, and these are going to go in the sandwiches. This is bacon grease, and I know that might sound disgusting to some people, but we use it a lot in our house, and we have since I was little. We just drain bacon fat and save it for later when we need to cook with it, and it really makes Things like your refried canned beans taste delicious. Oh, this can of refried beans is from Winco, and I've not used the Winco brand before. And it is a little bit more watery than uh, the normal can that we buy, which is the Rosarita brand. Um, it's still good though. It, it really worked out perfectly. And the Winco brand's like a dollar cheaper. I did toast these rolls. These are the same rolls that I used for the meatball sandwiches. I actually, um, we made these first and they were so delicious that I was like, oh my gosh, we have to use them for the meatball sandwiches. Now I'm just getting all of my ingredients together. So I'm just gonna put some avocado on one side and beans and cheese on the other. Now I know for a traditional torta, they do use a different type of cheese, um, but my kids don't really care for that kind of cheese. It's a little bit of a stinkier cheese. So I'm just using a mix of like a Colby Jack. <laughs> Good, it's for you. Thank you, baby. Yeah, they do. They huh? are a little bit darker and they're thinner. Mm. They're a lot thinner. Oh, salsa? Yeah, there's that one. But Did I you put this on? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to put some on. I did for Maddox, but I didn't put any outside. I'm going to put some on mine, okay? Mm -hmm. You want some too, Alice? Yes. I'll bring it. I'll bring it to you in a sec. Uh-huh. 
Now you can omit any of these toppings or add whatever toppings you like, but the sandwich itself is pretty simple. It's just, you know, these basic ingredients and it's really delicious. If you've not had one like this, I would suggest trying to find a bread that's similar. Hey. Here you go. That's for you. Oh, watch out. Mm. Mm. I really like that this sandwich has beans in it. It makes it a much different kind of sandwich. And I don't know, that's just something about it. And the kids really enjoy it too. Now, if you're someone that doesn't like avocado, you definitely don't have to use it. You can use, you know, mayo or mustard if you'd like, but I didn't add any of those um, kinds of toppings because, or spreads, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. But uh, I just thought that the avocado and the beans were enough, you know? There are four cheeses that are traditionally used um, in tortas, and I will put them up right here for you. I was gonna ask you, Lavin, that soda that's right there, tucked in, can you take that to the back? The crush? I never see him anymore. He's I lost my son, Brown. I lost him. He. Now moving on to my sandwich. This one is my sandwich because I'm gonna be using my lactose-free cheese. That is also why I stopped adding cheese to the beans, because for obvious reasons, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to eat it. And um, I like for us all to enjoy dinner together, even if we're not in the same room eating it actually together. Now on my sandwich, I'm not a big fan of tomato. I actually don't care for tomato at all. Um, I'll eat it if it's in its ketchup form. <laughs> I like what I like, don't come for me. I hope that you try this recipe. It's really easy. It's like making a bologna sandwich, but you're just making it with a better meat. And I'm not knocking bologna because trust me, I love me a good bologna sandwich. And of course, share it with the ones that you love. We'll be really grateful that you did. Mm. It's for you or him or both of you or just him, but it's... Thanks for watching.